again taking a little rip in the afternoon I wanted to go make a phone call so I thought I'd take take uh we're on the north end of of uh actually we're on the south end of Timberline Trail so we're on the, the short portion of it that's a 50 inch trail for four wheelers but we're not gonna ride Timberline we're gonna go up to the top we're going to take a left and we're going to go down the mountain to uh, to an old mine that's down there. And hit the road, I get phone service there. So I forget the name of the little town that was down there at one time. I guess I'll show you when we get there. do a video even though it's a 50 inch trail it's still fun if you've never rode it before you can kind of check it out see what it's all about it's really pretty up at the top any side-by-sides on this trail just a four-wheeler or two probably on my bike in case you haven't noticed.
Pretty up here, huh? GPS, but we're probably at probably 11,000 feet right here. 10 to 11, well, probably 11, close to 11. With all these, uh, that's all 12,000 up there. See up there? But we're probably around 11. Take long couple minutes, huh? Anyway, Tillerton, that's the name of the little town that's down there. So we come up here, come to the top, we drop back down. We'll dump out by that pond. I don't know if you can see it. And there's a little homestead, or there used to be a town called Tillerton. There's a really cool old mine down there. So even though this is a 50 inch, it's still worth riding just so you can go down and look at the mine. I'll show it to you. Let's go down there and check it out. It's nice and smooth and flowy too. It's a really nice trail. Watch out little dude. Coming through. a really fun trail on a four-wheeler too. There's nothing scary or technical about it so you know if you're you're going with kids or inexperienced four-wheeler people or even motorcycles easily doable and the views are worth it. There. I should get on the other side. There we go. So, like I said, we're heading north. Coming from the south end, we're heading north on, oh shit, Timberline. I'm a 
went off the edge. Dang. mosquitoes up here. A lot of shadows down through here. Shadows and light, shadows and light. Curious to see how the GoPro does how the color does when it's really bright and then right back into the shadows, you know. I rode this last night on the four-wheeler. Pretty fun. Right here folks so you go that way <clears throat> that's timber line you go down there it gets really rough and then uh, right down there at the bottom it turns into a single track which we're gonna ride this week sometime probably we're not going that way we're gonna go to Tillerton Hillerton ah, I've been telling you wrong all the time it's Hillerton there you go Trail number 632, Hillerton. Let's go down there and check out the mine, huh? Look at all that quartz, it's awesome. Hillerton. tempting to haul ass but it's a pretty big price to pay if you go off the trail here right Backs in here because we're going to wind down the side of the mountain here.
slick up in here. A lot of this wet shit is real slick. Scratch up my new plastic. It's all perky right now. I guess for you guys that watch a few of my videos, you know that's probably not gonna last very long. Much as I dropped the bike, you know. second half has been all all downhill it's probably probably a pretty awesome trail to ride up to on a bike those drainage brakes probably aren't as fun on the way up as they are on the way down i don't know if you can jump them on the way up or not depends on how the lip is right got to be careful on those that you don't end up jumping into some trees or something you really got to look down the trail when you you hit those fast, you know. What the hell? extra low maybe I got a problem I got to really push down on it I'm gonna check that oh see there it goes again what the hell opening up down here ah, that's weird I don't like it see look at it I got all the way down as far as it'll go We 
got no rear brake. Let's go over here and check this. Uh... <laughs> no rear brakes. The frick. Alright, anyway, here we are at the bottom. Well, we're not at the complete bottom, but here we are at the, the mine. So, I used to run the carts across there, dump, dump it into the process plant. It's pretty cool to come look at. If you walk down in here, you can see right, I don't know if you can see it. There's a boiler right there. Then you go on the underside of that wall, and there's a steam engine in there, and all the stuff they use to run the plant. It's really cool. There's a lot of old stuff laying around. Over here, there's a there's an old corral where they had the mules or horses or whatever. There's some more uh, flywheels right there. Really cool. Got no brakes. All right. Hillerton. Probably they cooked, and there's a porta potty up there, an outhouse, and here's the camp. Pretty cool. Only thing not cool is all the graffiti all over it. Nobody cares that you were here. Quit putting your name on everything. Ass hats. Yeah, we got no rear brakes. I'm on the brake, rear brake as hard as I can right now. There's, there it goes. What the frick. Well, anyway, the rear brake is not to be trusted, all right? So, ah, see, I'm on the rear brake as hard as I can get it, and it's not doing shit. No brakes. What's better, no front brake or no rear brake? Sounds like somebody's behind me. I would say that no front brake is better than no rear brake because you can kind of steer yourself with the rear brake if you come into a corner too hot or something. But I don't know, maybe I was riding the brake on the way down that hill and I smoked it. I'm pushing it right now and nothing is happening. Now if I pump it, yeah. Gonna have to sort that out and get back to camp. Or not, I didn't bring any tools or nothing really on this trip. But there's a bike shop down there in Gunnison. and I can go down there and get some, ah man, I don't have my bleeder kit or nothing, so I don't know what I'm gonna do. I brought my four-wheeler on this trip too, so I still got, still got a machine to ride. See, now the brake's working again. That's weird, huh? We got air in it or something. Now I got a brake. Just don't trust it. Basically what we did was we were up on Tin Cup, Tin Cup Pass Road to get onto the south end of south end of uh, Timberline and we just did a loop around Tin Cup so we're gonna come out on the other side of Tin Cup down here on, on the road We've got phone service right down here by the dump station so I'm gonna head down there and make a phone call We've got no service up at the camp You will maybe run into some side-by-sides on this trail because people like to run up and look at that mine. So right here you might, but then once you get up onto the mountain, there's no side-by-sides up there. Here we are down in the 
Park. There's a neat little cabin right here. Years and years ago, back in, I don't know, 2011, 2009 maybe, they used to come up here and we used to be able out to camp over on this tree line. But uh, people that live in Tin Cub didn't like people coming up here. There there's people up here shooting fireworks off in the forest, you know, from out of state. So they closed all of this from here all the way up to Tin Cup from camping, which uh, had irritated me at the time, but I don't blame them. We'd be up here camping and then there's all these campsites up in them trees and you'd see fireworks shooting off up here in the forest, you know, idiots. So now it's closed to camping, which is fine. Go look at that side and then I'll, then I'll let you guys go. Historic town site of Abbeville, 1880-1886. Pretty cool. Nothing here now, that cabin. But it's worth riding, it's a cool trail. So there you go, folks. Here's the here's the main road. That way is tin or yeah, that way is tin cup, that way is the uh, general store down there no camping here good job all right i'll see you guys later hey thanks for watching if you watch this far until next time i'll see you guys on the next trail i'm gonna go make a phone call see you later